Coming live from L News, it's Charlie Zinger! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight we are here with uh, Mary Freeman's uh, New England Nuns story, Louisa, who uh, sadly enough had a terrible breakup. 14 years by herself, and she is now uh, single. Welcome, uh, Louisa. Yeah. It's so great to finally meet you, Charlie. Oh, yes, and same to you, Louisa. Um, I'm very, very sorry about the breakup. I... I'm, we are like the Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt of literature. Yeah. Right here at L News. I love the apron, by the way. Thank you. Yes. This is my traveling apron, of course. Blue of color. I love it. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, tonight we are here to talk about the relationship of Joe Daggett and Louisa, 14 years spent apart while he was in, where was he again? Australia. Australia. Where most people go. Yes, to, uh, what, uh, he was there, what was he there for again? To make his fortune, of course. Yes, in Australia. his fortune in Australia. So we are here with Louisa. Down under. Yes, down yes. under. Um, anyway, we were just here to kind of talk to you about how very different you seemed. Like, how did you come to be, and then how did you make it 14 years alone? Yes, you know, and most people say 14 years alone, that's tough. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I had Charlie, or Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> Caesar the dog. And My name's Charlie. <laughs> <Yeah. but> Charlie. <laughs> Whatever, it works. <laughs> Caesar the dog, and oh. very cute, of course. <laughs> and my sewing and gardening, so I really kept to myself, kept busy. Very nice, very nice. Yes. Um, mm. I cannot believe you called me a dog. I know, I know. I, know. It was, it was I will Thank let you. it go. It's Thank all right, you. it's all right. It's been a rough um, couple months for me after the breakup. Just Yeah, I, well, you were a week, almost a week until your wedding, and just ended it. Mm -hmm. it, was, it I am shocked, and I my yeah. heart goes out to you. You're a very strong, independent woman. Um. Anyway, when he came back from making his fortune of 14 years, um, how did you guys get along? You know, and it was tough, you know, 14 years alone, I had my ways about it, and it just seemed he would come to visit twice a week, and everything, just those little things in the relationships that make it, oh, Caesar. Um, Our guest star tonight, we do have Caesar on the set, be warned. It, he, he is slightly dangerous, but we will keep him under control. But back to what I was saying, you know, it's the little things that make a... Okay, so <laughs> it's the little things, like that, I can't handle. It's the books. It goes green, red, yellow on top, right? Like most people would think. You need to always put the red on top. So I'd always have to flip it. <laughs> and you might have to make some corn cakes for You might have to get season. the, I don't know. The corn I packed cakes some corn here. cakes. It's All fine. Right. That's right. I heard they travel size. Yes. Nice little, little ones. And you know, it's the dirty shoes. I just felt he, I had everything perfect. I did my thing. Yeah. I came in. Um, I know, anyway, that you were so particular about stuff. Not many people would red, green, yellow, green, red, yellow. It's not, like, why were you so particular about it? Was it the Caesar with your brother, or was it the fact that you were alone for 14 years? You know, and I think it might have been I was alone for 14 years, but it was really just the right thing. I think I was always right. So. Mm -hmm. And I do have to quote from your story. I'll find my page here. Um, people did think, they said Louisa was no richer nor better breed than they. Why did you use fine china and wear aprons and whatnot? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, a lot of people look down on me for using that, but I think everyone should have the opportunity. So look what I brought you here today. Thought we could enjoy some fine china and tea. Oh, wonderful. And you know, you it's a certain tea, so... Took a while. Fine china, Enjoy. ladies and gentlemen. Oh I feel privileged. I don't think many people in town got to experience your fine china. You were kind of a hermit, like your dog. Oh. Or so they said. I'm sorry. If that <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know what you <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Not very many friends. <laughs> um, anyway. How did you think of the tea? Uh, it was delicious. So I brew, yeah. certainly. You just have to cut them up just right. 14 years. Yeah, I wonderful mean, tea after 14 years. Perfected it. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, <clears throat> sorry. By the way, part of the whole tea thing is your apron situation. You have different colors and sets of aprons for everything you do. Yes, 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 yes. Now these, since we are out on television, I did wear 
my going out apron. Mm -hmm. And under that, which I will only just show a peek of it, oh. is the in the house apron. So, oh. as you can so tell, there's certain ones because I didn't so, like. Which we did put you up in a very nice hotel. Mm, yes. But we don't want the tea spilling on the other apron, so to get to keep the right aprons for the right occasion nice. just makes it. Yeah, um, one other thing. I am a dog lover, so I do have to know about Caesar. Your brother uh, passed Yes, we on. did hear him earlier. Yes, we did hear him, and he passed on, so you kept him, but they even said he was a hermit dog that you just fed corn cakes and wouldn't let off the leash because you thought he would terrorize children. Well, yes, of course. You always would keep him on the leash. And can we bring Caesar out since we have him on the set on the leash? Thank you very much. Handlers! We need Thomas. Caesar out here, please. Oh, and right. oh, we have my corn cakes. And travel cakes. <clears throat> Caesar here, I can, I can hold Caesar here. here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I got him, maybe. Wild <laughs> dog on the loose. Here we go. Here, there. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so Caesar, anyway, he uh, seems to be with, along with your whole particular life and everything, you uh, seem to keep him. Why did you keep him? Oh, why did I keep him? Who else would take him, you know? He's such a rabid, crazy dog! Oh, Caesar. <laughs> Another corn cake. Yeah. These are the travel of corn cakes. Also take a while to make, but if you do it right. So, so if he was to let, get off a leash, what, what would happen? No. And that's the thing. Why why chance it? Joe seemed to like him though and think he could handle no, the leash. Joe, yes, of course. Joe is just very caring like that. I mean I think many people thought that, but you know, we just don't want to risk it, I think. Yes. I mean look at this. Poor face. <laughs> too much. Um anyway, uh well we, we don't want too much of this Caesar out here, so Caesar be gone. Oh. Bye, Caesar. Um, anyway, sorry. Yes, um, so, so that was Caesar. Caesar. Anyway, Joe comes back, and you guys have your meeting. You saw each other two times a week. Is that it? Oh, yes, that was a lot. Oh, see, and so then you were um, overhearing their conversation of him and Lily, mm -hmm. and yes. how did that make you feel? You know, when they were talking about he wouldn't leave me, you know, I had stuck by his side for 14 years. I was just going to say, we could definitely, definitely quote that part in the book. Um, we have it right here. I ain't going back on a woman that waited for me for 14 years and break her heart. So he seems kind of like a very caring man. Oh yes, and I have nothing bad to say about Joe. He is a nice, caring man. But I think once I heard that, I realized we would both be happy out of this marriage. I would be happy because I could do the things that I wanted to do. You know, yellow on the top. And he could be in love with Lily. Lily. Yes, Lily. Lily. Um, okay, so just to wrap it up here, we're getting close to the end. Uh, you uh, saw Lily the following days mm -hmm. as you were yes. sitting on your porch. And may I quote, Lily dry it. Dryer, tall and erect and blooming, went past, but felt no qualm. So you just had no hard feelings toward her. And no, it wasn't her fault and it wasn't Joe's fault. I think it was what made everyone happy in the situation. And I hope they are happy. Oh, Caesar! For the love. Give him a corn cake. Corn cake. Get Caesar off the set. Caesar off the set. It's crazy. Anyway, yes. Mm, back so, to and I wish them all Thank you. the love. And greatness in their life. Oh. Yes, and I do feel that at the end, um, when you and Joe decided to end it, that he, you guys actually held hands and he kissed you for the first time since he'd been back, or for the first time in a while, that you guys actually kind of got along. And I think we got along towards the end because we knew we both would be happy. I think we both had that realization that we both would be happy without each other, and that was just our... Goodbye. You know? I, I agree. And I'm mm -hmm. glad that you are a very strong, independent woman that could handle that. Because your Puritan society, as it was, it was not a norm to end a long, re 14, 15 year long relationship. Oh, yeah. No. Just in one night, just so he could be happy with another woman, even though you seem to be very, very happy and better off and peaceful. Oh, yes. I think we're both that. better off, and I think following the norm isn't the way to go. Whatever makes you happy. Anyway, this is Louisa from Mary Freeman's New England Nun. Thank you and good night.